What's up, guys? It's uh, Alex and Amanda from, from two, two huge chainsaws. Chainsaws. <coughs> Ew. <laughs> Ew. Um, we literally just finished filming like, like the last episode. So. Word. Way to give yeah. away the illusion. <laughs> it's not an illusion. I'm magical. This, if, if, if we did both of them Potter. in a row, it would be a You're super... a wizard, Alex. Stop! <laughs> <laughs> if, we, if we did both of these things in like one video, it would be way too long. So we just broke it up. We're, you know, spacing them out. Um, so we're doing the Halloween horror question game tag thing. The horror version of last, the yeah. last episode. So if you like horror and Halloween, this is your episode. Is it? Is it? All right, all right. Question one: Favorite horror or Halloween themed song? Halloween by The Misfits, I guess. I remember. I listen to that like every November first. I would say it has to be like the original Halloween theme song, just just because like like most like most. Haunters who, who love the old school haunt stuff where you used to go into costume shops, like even just Party City, and they would have music playing. They don't even play music there anymore, which pisses me off, but um, I used to love just walking into those stores and you would always hear that one song. So it reminds me of when I was a young. Name something you wouldn't want to run into in a dark forest or in an abandoned building. Any one of my characters that I've created. Oh my god, I would hate having. Move over an inch. There you go. You are in good spot now. Don't move from this spot. Don't move. In. The Crooked Man from Conjuring 2. He hates the Crooked Man. Fuck that thing. It's just it's like. Like, ah, like it's just weird. I don't know. Have you ever played with a Ouija board? Fuck no. No, 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 no. Those things are dangerous. Whether you believe in, like, the spirit in a cult or not, like, those are no bueno. Mm. And I, I have not. I've seen them being sold at like flea markets too. That's the shadiest no, place to buy one. Would not. Like, ten out of ten would not buy. Favorite horror monster or villain? Ooh. Um, my all-time favorite. It might be Sam from Trick or Treat. Yeah. He, he just he sticks to Halloween. Halloween. Um. Traditions. Thank you. Traditions, and that's why I love him so much. Cause he's like, hey, I'm a little spooky Halloween guy. I'm gonna fucking kill you though if you blow up that pumpkin too early. It'd either be, like, the original Frankenstein, just because I have trouble figuring out a favorite, um, and I just, like... You like it. Yeah, and I just, like, I just love the old films, so, um... I hate it. That was, like, that was, like, THE movie. Creepiest thing that's ever happened while you were alone. Um, when my, um, Cookie Monster dolls kept going off on its own. And it scared the shit out of me when it first happened. I think that's the creepiest. Creepiest thing that ever happened to me was I was sleeping in my parents' room on the floor next to their bed, and behind my head was a wall, and on the other side was their walk-in closet, and, and, like off of their bathroom. And I was thinking in my head, it'd be really creepy, like I'm lying there at two in the morning, it'd be really creepy if someone knocked on this wall behind my head. And literally five seconds later, it was like, like shaving a haircut, like do 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 on the wall behind me, and then I freaked out. Like, did I just do that and never realize I did it? Like, I, like, it was so weird. To me. Never figured it out. It was the strangest thing in the world. If you were dared to spend the night in a haunted house, would you do it? Yep. Well, of course not. <laughs> yep, I would. Why? <laughs> you don't. You don't need like. I wouldn't, because I don't know what kind of things are in there. It could be skunks. There could be cowboys. I don't like cowboys. Are you superstitious? Yes. Yeah. Very, yeah. Yes. Very. Do you ever see figures in your peripheral vision? Yes. I have. Uh, no. Not me. Which urban legend scares you the most? I would, I would just say, for me, the... Demon the, possession. Just, yeah, demonology, like, you know, the fact that they can be here, like, it just, I don't like that shit. Anything with connections to hell, like, I can't, if I can't see it, 
go fuck it. Like, I, I will kill Like, if I could kill it, I would kill it, but I can't see it, so I'm fucked. Like, I don't like that. Do you prefer gore or thrillers? Yeah. I'd say, like, I would say thrillers, but if there was a little bit of gore in it, like... Thirteen Ghosts. Well, yeah. The Jackal and... <coughs> Like, even movies like House of a Thousand Corpses, like, mm -hmm. there's gore in it, but you don't know what the fuck is going kinda on. Kind of like horror comedy, like that edge. Like, Tucker and Dale versus Evil is one of my favorite yeah, movies. That's weird. Um, do you believe in multiple dimensions or worlds? Yep. Sure. Well, there has to be, like, a ghost realm. Yeah. Ever made a potion of any sort? No. Well, if you count, like, the fake ones from the Harry Potter kid. Oh, you? You got an answer? No. I have not. Do you get scared easily? Mm, not easily. Okay, so, in a haunted house, it is rare that I will get scared. Yeah. It's very rare. Like, ever. I might, like, you know, jump a little yeah. bit, but because I wasn't expecting a loud noise or whatever. But, but, in real life, if I'm walking into a dark-ass place and it's sketchy, that's when I'm scared. Because... I don't trust anything. Have you ever played Bloody Mary? Yep. No. <laughs> Do you believe in demons and devils? Yep. Yes. Not so much the devil. Like that. There's a good quote: "The devil is in all of us." Like I think that's true. You're home alone, but you hear footsteps. Um, in your house, what do you do? Pee. Pee everywhere. No, um, first thing I do, I'd be, I'd call him. Call me? What the hell am I gonna do? To see if it's you. Oh. <laughs> oh, what the hell? Oh, gee, thanks, Alex. <laughs> Alex, I need you to come home because something really scary is happening, and I think you're the man for the job. Well, I'll be there in. Never. <laughs> Three days! Um, if I was home alone and I hear footsteps in the house, what do I do? Well, I have before. Um, basically, what I did was made it from one light switch to the next, turning on every light in the house. And it wasn't as bad. <sighs> so that's what I did. Even though I easily could have died. If you got trapped in one scary movie, which would you choose? Trick or treat. Because I wouldn't die. <laughs> I guess so. Um, How about you? Which would I choose? Well, I can't just say the same thing. Yes, you can. Well, then I'd say trick or treat. We live and we live and breathe the traditions that I would Sam, hug Sam. Yeah, that Sam kills for. And he would probably hug you back. If you could only wear one Halloween costume for the rest of your life, what would you be? Oh God. That's a that's a zinger. Bobby Fairbanks. Demonia. And I guess, more traditional-wise, slutty cat. Just kidding. Get it? Because all the girls are slutty cats. I know. Get it? I, I you know. get it? I know. I don't like them. I guess a witch. A traditional witch. Yeah, if I had to be super traditional, I would do, like, I'd probably do a pirate. You would. You really would. Would you ever go to a graveyard at night? Yes, I have. I don't know. Depends on what graveyard. If, it's, if we're talking about the one down the street from my house, no. absolutely not. Ever. Ever. That's super haunted. It's like one of the most haunted graveyards in the state of Connecticut. So. In a zombie apocalypse, what is your weapon of choice? Alex. Alex's toes. Um, probably a machete. Machete? Really? Quiet. Like a double-edged sword. <laughs> you got it. Use your imagination, folks. Would you rather go to a Halloween party or trick or treating? Go trick or treating. Trick or treating. You're in a horror movie. Are you the final girl, the first to die, the comic relief, the skeptic, the smart one, or the killer? I'm probably the killer. No, she's not. <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> I'm the comic relief, I think. I think I'm the final girl if I'm not the killer. I'm probably the final girl. Do you have to watch 
Do you have to watch something happy after watching a horror movie so you can go to sleep? No. Uh, no, I watch horror movies to go to sleep. Yeah. Yeah. Why else? Watching scary movies, are you the person who yells at the characters, the person with their eyes covered the whole time, or the person who falls asleep? I'm the person who yells at the characters. Don't go in the... Don't, don't open the... You stupid... You should have seen... Yeah, when I was watching The Walking Dead, <laughs> he falls off the very swing. And, and, and I'm like, you stupid idiot! What, is is what the fuck? Why did you... Yeah, I was so pissed, because I'm like, dude, <laughs> this season... <laughs> And he it's just... supposed to be a good season. Don't fuck this up for me. Are you the one who gets scared or the one who does the scaring? Does the scaring. <laughs> Gee, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been to a haunted house. Do they have security there? I yeah. hope not. Because <laughs> I really want to choke some actors. <laughs> sorry, sorry, folks. Favorite scary book? Goosebumps. The Goosebumps Build Your Own Adventure books were like my jam. Um, I would have to say stories. Oh, scary stories to tell in the dark. Scary Those stories two. to tell in the mm. dark. Those were my favorite. Those are really good. I like. I used to. I used to. I actually. We had like a little library in my in my uh, third grade classroom, and I literally hid the books in a secret spot so that I could read them at every single reading break. No one knew where they were. No one even knew that they had those books in there. How old were you when you saw your first horror film? Ah, God, I don't even know. I think I was 80. I honestly, I don't know. Remember that one with the hash slinging slasher? What was your first... Babe! What was your first Halloween costume? Let's just say that you can remember. Elmo. That you can remember? Elmo. You were Elmo? I was Elmo, I was a pumpkin, I was a Dalmatian, I was first. Nala. I think it was Elmo. Well, it might have been a Dalmatian. But the oldest one I can remember was this super cool latex alien mask with like the big clear eyeballs like the big big round clear eyeballs and it had like a, a it was all latex and it had like this big latex hood and oh, I with, know a, what, what with a brown about. cloak or a black cloak if I still had that that thing would be so cherished what are you going to be for Halloween this year? all of my characters plus some new ones and then um maybe myself Halloween, I'm hoping to be the second to one of her characters uh, that already exists. Um, and it is uh, Samuel and Samantha. Yeah, Samantha and Samuel and So we're like traditional That's Halloween. That's so cute. We have matching characters. Last one. If you could have a spooky Halloween pet, black cat, owl, bat, rat, whatever. A bat. What, what would you pick? Bat. A cute little bat that was, uh, would rat. like be tamed though. So, yeah, so that was. I'd say a rat. So that was the Halloween tag. You know, please like, subscribe, comment, hit the little bell button to like really get into it and get notifications. Yeah, get notifications because otherwise you can't see the stuff we put out. Um, hashtag haunt life. Bye. Oh yeah, get another little staple, get another little staple.